Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. So yesterday, we went through Sino Story Quest, which I found to be incredibly entertaining, like relatively entertaining throughout, kind of figuring out the overall situation with Sino's like old partner and coming to the realization that his friend was actually like a fucking Giga Chad. Like Mans was like, okay, I'm gonna stop this freaking thing from killing people in the present. And then Sino, I'm gonna make sure that you're good. So that way you can take care of all the smugglers in, in, like in the future and um i just really 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 liked how the quest line turned out it was super entertaining the last 20 30 minutes kind of like solidified it and made like the payoff super worthwhile in the end so i'm really glad that i kind of like followed through it the whole way through got some like easter eggs from like abatui and karkata mentions in there and everything else in between but overall i thought it was really entertaining i think sino story quest is in my top five for overall favorite story quests in the game and so wrapping up the remaining content for 3.1 before 3.2 comes out we're going to be checking out nilu's story now don't really know what this is going to entail you know obviously she's basically cosplaying if you will the goddess of flowers she is the theater girl of the uh grand bazaar and like everything regarding the subzeros festival we're just gonna jump into it and see what happens so we have to the wise the warm rhythms of the street go to the grand bazaar to prepare supplies for your adventure you and paimon come to the Grand Bazaar. Hello! Nilu! It's nice to see you again! Hey there, Traveler and Paimon. Are you here for some shopping too? That's right! With what money? Although there were a few hiccups here and there, the sub Festival turned out to be a grand success. And so, the theater wants to host a celebration event. Ooh. Do you two want to come? Yes. It'll be a really fun time. A celebration event? It's something like a tradition of ours. Whenever we wrap an important performance, we'll get together and unwind. Oh, it's the after party, Pog. Rehearsals are exhausting. If you keep your nose to the grindstone, you're going to wipe yourself out sooner or later. <laughs> Mr. Zubair, our manager, always says that celebrations aren't just for fun, but that they should also be occasions for reflection and review. True. <laughs> But no one remembers that once the celebration starts. <laughs> it's not like he can't also have some fun himself. Gosh, she's so beautiful. We've been to a lot of festivals during our adventures. Will your celebration also have lots of yummy food and drinks? Of course. We always do lots of eating, toasting, and gift exchanging. We try really hard to show our appreciation for everyone. Ah, so we'll need to bring a present. Damn. Into the gift box you go, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon's gonna put you in a box first! Whoa! That's not nice. What the hell? I'm gonna put you in a box six feet under if you keep it up. <laughs> it's fine. No need to stress, Paimon. <laughs> you can come. Present or not, the gift exchange is just to make the celebration more entertaining. You two being there would be the best gift of all. Aww. It'll also be a good time to introduce you to the rest of the theater. Mm, speaking of, since we last met her in her dream, many more things have happened. Is something up? Hmm. <laughs> Are we going to have another Samsara dream? What's going on? A pity Dunyazad can't also be here. Yeah, but for now, it's more important for her to rest and recover. I wonder if we're going to see her by the end of the Archon quest with Act 5. I tried to visit her, but I got turned away at the door. Damn. The people there wouldn't listen to a single word I said. All I could do was to leave a letter encouraging her to get some rest and keep her spirits up. She'll be better soon. And then we can celebrate together at the theater. True. It's all thanks to you and Nilu that we managed to save Dunyarzad. I just didn't want her to have any regrets. She also helped us out a lot. You're way too modest. Just now, I actually felt really self-conscious when Paimon talked about us in the same breath. <laughs> oh, someone's getting a little flustered, I see. Compared to you, I really didn't do much at all. Uh, I mean, it was her whole dream. <laughs> anyway, all that aside, are you thinking about coming to our event? Paimon thinks it'll be a great time. What do you think, Traveler? Yeah, sounds like fun. All right, then let's head to the theater. Wait, I completely forgot about this pile of stuff. Oh, damn. Here's where we come in, chat. The glorified Aaron boy of Genshin Impact. Whoa, did you buy all of this, Nilo? Just one box. <laughs> the rest were given to me. I really don't know how it came to this much. That's way 
too many freebies. Many vendors give out samples for free, but Byman's never seen this much. She, she's, uh, she's a popular girl. All I know is that whenever I start chatting with people, my hands would get more and more full until I can't hold everything anymore. Hmm. This seems to happen every time. I was planning on making a few trips to bring everything back before continuing on with my shopping, but I don't think I'll have the time. So this isn't even all of it? Damn, let us help you. Uh, are you sure? Of course. Carrying stuff is a piece of cake for him. Right, Traveler? Yeah, I'm carrying you through this whole game. I'm so sorry to trouble you like this. I meant to invite you to our celebration, but now you're helping me instead. It's all good. <sighs> Well, let's hurry up and grab the last few things. Uh-oh. So we can get back to the theater. The music stopped playing. I don't have a good feeling about this. I'm feeling, uh, very... Ooh, to the wise. I'm like, oh, please don't let it be another loop. Purchase goods. Collect the purchase goods. Oh, damn. We have to go through the whole thing, eh? Hello, sir. Oh, <laughs> well, if it isn't Nilu. Greetings, Mr. Jute. Do you still have any food that's ready to go? Of course I do. I've heard that Zoo Bear Theater is hosting a celebration event, so I've reserved some food for you in advance. Damn, she's got it made. Although, it looks like you're going to need two more portions. <laughs> Make it three Paimons here. Ah, please allow me to introduce them. This is the Traveler, a very experienced adventurer. And this is Paimon, his super reliable guide and helper. Uh, cut the super reliable part. No, no, no. Paimon is... Uh, hold on. She got it completely right. Look, Traveler, she introduced Paimon correctly. Oh my god. Yeah, great. Now I'm never going to hear the end of it. Truly a rare occasion. <laughs> Don't underestimate Nilu. She always remembers every last little detail about everyone, even if it sounds completely trivial. She's also very brave. Just a little while ago, she saved my precious spices from the jaws of a sumter beast. Damn. Why didn't she say that Paimon sus? Or that Paimon's like an enigmatic part of the world of Teyvat that no one questions ever? That seems more accurate. Uh, don't think anything of it. I just help out when I can because everyone else takes such good care of me. Anyway, sorry to get off topic. We're in a bit of a hurry. Mr. Jute, did you say you didn't reserve enough food? <laughs> I was joking. Anyone who runs a business knows to keep some extra stock. Damn. After all, orders get changed all the time. Oh, that reminds me. It seems that these friends of yours aren't from here. Oh? Have they ever tried any delicious tachin? What's that? Ooh, what a fantastic idea! Mr. Jute, did you bake a batch recently? Tachin is a mixture of rice and meat that's baked into a cake-like shape. Ooh. Mr. Jute adds special spices into his. That sounds good. I want some. Its aroma is just so wonderfully delicious. If you ever see kids crowding all around Mr. Jute's place, you know he's baking up a storm. <laughs> but is it really just for the kids? Don't you often follow them in, too? I... I just can't help myself. <laughs> She's like, hey, I want some of those, too. Those kids better get out of my way. We're two peas in a pod. Who doesn't enjoy some good food? Wait here. I'll bring some over. Okay. Piping hot tachin. Mm. Oh, is that the little food that she has in her idol animation? Because this moment right here just remind me that she eats something in her one of her idol animations. Whoa, what a dish. It's sweet and sour and full of delicious. Paimon can't eat it fast enough! <laughs> Typical Paimon. No matter how many times I eat it, it's still so delicious. <laughs> I wouldn't have offered it as a treat if I wasn't confident in the taste. I baked a lot just now, and it's all packaged and ready for you to take back to the theater. Nice, thank you. You made so much. Is it really okay to take them all? I'll take the leftovers. Shh! It was nothing. Making one serving or 100 servings is all the same to me. <laughs> if anything, I should be thanking you for helping me clear my inventory. Is this man getting paid for all of this? Is he just working because he loves to? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What kind of person would I be if I made you pay for a treat? <laughs> Make sure you got everything. Mans must be well off. Feel free to come back anytime. I'm starting to understand how you got so many things. Yeah, everyone has their own way with words. And it's really hard to say no. Let's go to the next store. Nilu, good timing. I have the textiles you ordered. If you took any longer, the Sumter Beasts might have gobbled them up. Mm. <laughs> you and your jokes. 
Sumter beasts won't eat those kinds of things, Mr. Offsheen. Jude said that some Sumter beasts ate his spices. <laughs> Were they yours? Damn. Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, really sorry about that. Nilu. if it weren't for you, I would have lost half of my profits that month. Trying to pull anything out of a Sumter beast's mouth is like playing a game of tug-of-war. She won? So they really do eat anything, huh? At least they work after eating. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> the shade. You know, Sumter Beasts sometimes eat not because they're hungry, but because they like gnawing on things. The textiles you ordered are highly durable and woven from the finest thread. You've tested this before? But of course! How else could I be so trustworthy? Well, that one time was an accident. I wouldn't dare experiment with such a precious product. True, it does sound like some good fabric. Ho ho, have I piqued your interest? If you want to buy some, now's a good time. Oh god. Buy two bolts and get 20% off. I don't want to, I don't want what you're selling. I'm sorry, Dory's ruined me. Okay, everyone's just out to get my money. Ooh, that's a pretty good no! discount. What do you think, Traveler? What the hell are we going to do with textile fabric? We're travelers. No thanks, Mr. Offsheen. You can't use that kind of tactic on her. Look, you've already sucked her in. Look at that. See, Paimon's gonna be spending my money. Uh, tactic? Yeah, exactly. So you mean everything he just said to Paimon was a lie? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> it's just that Mr. Offsheen is really good at spinning stories. A word from him, and you'll find yourself buying things you don't actually need. Exactly. Mr. Zubair gave me a huge lecture the last time I bought too many things. Uh, vendors shouldn't use manipulation tactics. Hey, sir. Fuck off. Come on, don't look at me like that. <clears throat> All she got was a talking to from Zubair while I was nearly fed head first to the Sumter Beasts. Too bad, so sad. My philosophy is that stories give value to merchandise. That's why my business started with such a boom. Yeah, stories give value to merchandise until up until the point of sale. Once you sell it, who gives a fuck what its value is? I made my money. Our Nilu here is an extraordinarily good listener. Back then, she believed anything I said. After a while, I began to feel guilty selling things to her because of how happy oh, yeah! she was. Oh yeah, look at that! Though she enjoyed the stories, and I, the Mora, I knew she didn't need to buy that much. Damn. It's okay. We're all friends now. There's no need to dig up the past. Hmm, that reminds me. Some of the goods from my latest shipment aren't in the best condition. They're fine for general use, but my customers have high standards, and I don't have the time or resources to find new buyers right now. Nilu, why don't you take them? Okay. Huh? No, 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 I can't do that. Bro, everyone's just giving her shit. I'd feel so awkward. I'd be like, can I just talk to you like a human being instead of everyone trying to do stuff for me? Just think of it as a favor for me, all right? The theater can use them for props and whatnot. It costs me more to store or ship, so I'm just losing money every day continuing to hold on to them. Even so, let me buy them at market value. Nah, these goods are hard movers. Besides, if I let you pay, wouldn't it mean that I'm just using stories to sell my goods again? Yes, that's true, but damn. Just take them. If you really feel that bad about it, give me some theater tickets later. <laughs> people seem genuine, I guess. Oh, yeah, you should also take some while you're at it. Adventurers are always in need of materials, right? Another one. There's still one more store. Are you all right holding on to that much stuff? Paimon, why don't you lend a hand? <laughs> he must be tired. Uh, if Paimon were to refuse, would you then think less of Paimon than even a Sumter beast? Yes, you you lazy little seely. Imagine that. Imagine Paimon helping with anything. Okay, who's this guy? About time, Nilu. Farhad here was snooping around your props. Oh, please. I was only looking at them to get a better idea of what your new show may be about. Wouldn't spoiling yourself just ruin all the fun? <laughs> yeah, please wait for our official performance. Yeah, get out of here. Stop spoiling. Stop leaking stuff. Hmm, these two look familiar. I think I've seen them before. Ah, weren't they at the sub -Zeru's festival? Yeah, every single time. All like a hundred times. Yeah. And they're coming to today's celebration, too. Oh, the more folks, the barrier. I was actually just talking to Farhad about also stopping by tonight. Now, this guy's got a personality, eh? Oh, yes, please do. I'm sure Miss Raycar and Miss Nadja would also love to have a chat with the two of you. We even prepared a small gift. 
Let me show it to you. Ta-da! It's a flower wreath. I really think we should wear some of these to give the event a more celebratory feel. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> what? Wow, it's beautiful. Did you make it? Oh, shit! Farhad did most of the work. What a surprise, huh? He actually knows a lot about crafts. This pisses me off that Hoyoverse gives us the flower crown. It's literally in our inventory, and we can't wear it. Hey, why can't I have a little side hobby? I worked really hard on that. <laughs> I know, I know. I watched you make it. I wasn't making fun of you. All right, why don't you also try some on? We've got some wreaths in your size. My god, can I actually wear these? Oh, oh my god! Yo! <laughs> it fits perfectly. Is Aether gonna wear a flower crown during every patch of Sumeru? This is the second flower crown he's gotten. They're so pretty! Is there one that Paimon can wear? I actually like that one, too. Like, that one's got, like, the little, like, freaking leaf things on the side. That looks cool. Unfortunately, we already gave out all the child-sized ones. <laughs> Damn. I wasn't expecting the theater to invite such a... Fascinating guest. Fascinating? That sounds kind of weird, but Paimon will let it slide. Oh, you all sure got a lot of stuff there. Let me help you carry some. I'm a porter by trade, so this is what I'm best at. That'd be great! Please and thank you. <laughs> Where are you gonna help? But we have a pro now. Thanks for the help, Mr. Farhad. Bruh. But let me make one thing clear first. Don't try to ask about what's in the new show. Yeah, you leaker. Get out of my face. Otherwise, I may not be able to hold back Mr. Zubair this time. <laughs> <laughs> You're so obvious that even Nilu saw right through you. Damn, bruh. <sighs> Fine. It's not like I want to get on his bad side either. Including Hushang's things, though. We'll each need to carry a box if we want to move everything in one trip. Okay. Even my strength has its limits. Oh. Uh yeah, Paimon, maybe you should have fucking helped. Looks like she doesn't want to, so I'll carry a little extra. Paimon never wants to help. Although I may not appear super strong at first glance, I actually do a lot of strength training on the regular. Strength and balance are both really important for a dancer. No, no, let Paimon. Paimon will help carry things. Let's go. Guilt tripping. You love to see it. Finally, she's going to do something. I swear to God, she's going to like break her back or something. Paimon can't fly anymore. Are you okay, Paimon? What a drama queen. Walk it off. Paimon's good to keep going. But Paimon now understands when people say there's no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to put Paimon through the... Paimon, you're going to learn. You're going to learn today, okay? Oh, that show was a lot of stuff. Looking forward to the event later. Plot twist, Paimon just carried that, like, red-looking, onion-looking thing on the floor right there. That's all she carried. Thank you, Mr. Farhad. All right. I'll leave you all to it. See ya. Good thing we had Mr. Farhad with us, or else that would have taken way longer. The atmosphere here is so nice. Of course. <laughs> Because everyone's working here together. We're all like neighbors, so we're always helping each other out. It's easy to forget that everyone's running a business. With this many freebies being thrown at you, you <laughs> probably don't need to work. That's what I was going to say. She's like, she, she's got it made. <laughs> I felt so guilty at first. Like I always owed someone something. I was always thinking of ways to repay others. Yeah. Later on, I realized that it's actually like what Mr. Offsheen said. By taking the freebies, I was helping everyone out and saving them money. When you order the wrong item or make too much of something, sometimes the best way to maximize the value of those goods is to give them away. That is true. That's why there's no need to stress over the freebies. All of us repay others by helping them when they need it. Oh! actually makes a lot of sense. It's very altruistic of you guys. This has become our norm, and no one keeps track of the back and forth anymore. So really, don't worry about it. All right. I have to bring all this to Mr. Zubair and do a little bit of prep. Feel free to hang out here for a bit. It'd be nice if you could also get to know some other people at the theater. You sure you don't need any help? Nope. Mr. Zubair is really on top of everything. You two are our guests. So please, just relax and look forward to the celebration. Wow. The atmosphere here is so nice. Let's take a break and immerse ourselves in this warmth. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> damn, I said it the exact same way. What? Who are you? You can't just go on the stage as you please. Whoa, we're here with Nilu. Relax, lady. 
Ah, I see. Yeah, exactly. Sorry for my overreaction. Hey, you better be. You know who I am? I'm about to save your freaking god. I'm just, uh, making a prop. Is that embroidery? No. Well, yes. But not really it's a prop. It's just, uh, some fabric. An ordinary piece of fabric that we use in a show. Oh, okay. Sorry. I really do need to focus and start working on it. Sorry to disturb you. What an oddball. <clears throat> Is prop making something to be that jumpy about? I don't know. Maybe she's uh, self-conscious, Paimon. You don't know. Oh, well, it's none of our business. All right. So she's uh, having a kind of a rough go at the day, it seems. Hey there. Mm -hmm. Ah, a newcomer. Doesn't look too bright. Uh hey! Talk about judging a book by its cover! What an asshole! You, on the other hand, you're a special one. How would you describe the concept of art? Why are you asking that all of a sudden? Mere curiosity is all. It makes no difference whether you answer or not. Okay, sir. <laughs> it is a tangible manifestation of human sentiment. So that's what you think, hmm? Damn, he's like, damn, I shouldn't have asked you. Unremarkable. Better than an average person's thoughts, but nothing exceptional. Is art a product that we create and bring forth, or is it a naturally existing resource? This man a philosopher? I, for one, believe it to be the latter. Follow. I get what he's saying. It's a finite existing resource. Not everyone has access to it and using it bears results like money and stuff like that. But I've been staying here for a long time. On occasion, I'd assist them in penning lines of dialogue. But most of my time, I just stand back and watch. I prefer to abstain from writing as it spoils the viewing experience. True. The existence of the theater, of Nilu, and of humanity itself. All of these can be considered as forms of art. It is not some intangible construct beyond the horizon. How does that have anything to do with us? Let me ask you this. What do you think is the meaning of art? To serve as an answer to your questions? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I suppose that question was a little too difficult for you. Uh, bro, what did... This guy better chill out, bro a chance upon a spark of inspiration i have been closely observing you the players on the stage uh -huh. and those watching in the audience art is already all around us all right relax there yusuke wannabe hey there i saw you two helping nilu move some stuff are you two also here for the celebration event you got it my name is raycar nadia and i are this theater's prop engineers I also help out with some other tasks like housekeeping, the little ones causing a ruckus, <laughs> or my children, Damn. Soreen and Abi. I hope they aren't bothering you. Yo, these kids are popping off. Everyone here takes great care of them. There's good work here, the pay's always on time, and Nilu and the others will often volunteer to play with the kids. I like her voice. I really like the voice acting of this lady. I'm quite content with this current way of life. Um, do you mean your life wasn't nearly as good before? Paimon! It's rude. It's all right. It's all water under the bridge now. My husband and I were both adventurers, but he passed away from an accident. Tis the life of an adventurer, unfortunately. Bro, that's so sad. That literally reminded me of Razor's parents, and now I'm sad again. Material struggles can always be overcome, but ever since then, I haven't been able to spend much of my energy on anything else. But I still consider myself lucky. Mr. Zubair has helped me a lot, and the atmosphere here is tolerant and kind. Sorry for bringing up such sad memories. Hello, yeah, you should be. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind. Once the event starts, you'll be able to see for yourself the kind of atmosphere I was talking about. Look, Nilu's back! Oh. Let's meet up with her. The event's probably about to start. Ooh, the manager is there. Sorry for the wait. Preparations for the celebration are finally done. I'll call everyone over, and then we can start. Let us give you a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice. You let us help her. Maybe we really should have prepared a gift. Then we could also be a part of the exchange. Um, maybe we shouldn't do this after all. Oh? I didn't do that great of a job. And who would even like it? Oh, don't think like that. Remember our promise? We're going to give everyone a pleasant surprise. Hmm. And besides, you've never attended a celebration event before. So this will be a great opportunity. Everyone will love you. I'm still... 
not really sure about this. There's nothing to be worried about. Just take a step forward and give yourself a chance. There aren't any scary people here, right? <laughs> Famous last words. Right. I hope not. Huh. All right. Maybe this will help. Everyone, over here. Uh, Inaya has something great to tell you all. Don't put her on the spot like that. W wait, wait. Uh-oh. I've already said that I'm not ready yet. Damn. Uh, what should I say? Take it easy and relax. Hmm. Deep breath. In and out. Once you've taken a long exhale, calmly tell everyone what you want to say. Yeah, she has something like that regarding her, her idle dialogue. If you don't say anything, then all the hard work we put into embroidery practice would have gone to waste. She's basically pushing her into the deep end and, and she's like, okay, now just kick your feet and start swimming. Using it as a gift though, it really isn't that good. So when Inaya was talking about making a prop, she was actually preparing a present. She looks really nervous. Yeah, it feels like she still doesn't really see herself as part of this community. But it looks like Milu's trying to ease her through. Actually, yeah. Hinaya had prepared a special present for everyone before the celebration kicked off. Woohoo! We're gonna get our first present from Miss Hinaya! Pipe down! The louder you all are, the more nervous she'll become. You've worked on it for so long, so have some confidence. Don't be afraid. You've got this! Uh, uh... Is Mr. Zubair here? Uh-oh. Shake Zubair. This is an urgent notice from the academia. This celebration, or whatever it is, must stop at once. So we're gonna burn down the academia in 3.2, right? What a condescending guy. What's his deal? Since Zubair Theater has long violated the academia's policies and orders, we have decided to demolish it. Uh, what? As its manager, you must halt all operations and dismiss all staff members within 30 days, after which you will report to the Academia for further punishment. Sir, y'all about to get clapped. Why? Why force us to do this all of a sudden? Because they're hating. Little girl, this is not the first time you've been issued a warning. I didn't hear anything about demolition the last time I asked, and now I suddenly only have 30 days? Yeah, what the hell is this bullshit? We have more shows planned, but it's impossible to do anything in just 30 days. How am I supposed to explain this to my customers and staff? That issue is of no concern to me, Mr. Zubair. Bro, your uppins will come. You seem to understand the situation quite clearly. Perhaps you can reflect on the reasons why you have failed to prepare for the scenario in advance. Demolition? Why do they want to demolish this place? Because they're like, we don't like art, and because we don't like something that you like, we're going to take it away from you. The academia has never liked us. Yeah. And they've never respected our work. To them, what we do is all a waste of time. I've never thought I'd say this, but low-key, I kind of want Dotori to just do his thing while he's here. Like, bro, just, I'll turn a blind eye just this once. Just this once, you guys might actually be onto something. This isn't the first time they've come by. They had asked us several times in the past to improve the quality of our performances by only putting on shows they consider to be sufficiently intellectual. But our audience isn't the academia. It's the people of the Grand Bazaar. If our shows are too difficult to understand uh, or too removed from everyday life, damn. nobody would watch them anymore. Exactly. It's all, it's almost like the academia with all of that wisdom and knowledge that they crave so much. It, it seems weird that they don't understand the concept of art. Changing our content would not only mean turning our backs on our vision, it would also directly lead to the loss of our livelihoods. If the theater gets demolished, many people will be displaced. Yeah. The theater is very important to each and every one of us. The way they're doing things is so scummy. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. But I also don't know how we can stop them. We have to dismantle the oppressive establishment. We gotta burn it to the ground, ladies and gentlemen. I do not wish to explain everything again from the beginning. Time is of the essence, so you should act with haste instead of asking frivolous questions. Do you want to die now or later? There's your question. But none of us plan to accept this. Such an abrupt notice is contrary to established policy. Ask whoever you will. The answer will remain the same. We have already given you sufficient notice. Enough. Oh, yo, pop off. Does your audacity know no limits, father? Uh, 
Okay, I didn't see that one coming. I know they're wearing similar colored shirts, but I didn't realize that meant that they were related. Huh? Father? Their family? All right, this is awkward. What academia? This is all because you don't like Zubair Theater. You're just using the academia's name to threaten us. Let me tell you, even if you manage to tear down this place, nothing is going to change. You've always been awful. But even I never thought my father would sink this low. Damn, you look like a bitch. This is strictly business. It has nothing to do with where you are, what you do, or what you think. I hope you all have not been irrevocably blinded by folly. I will not waste more time on pointless arguments. He did not just say that. The pot is literally calling the kettle black right now. What arrogance, bro. How ironic. <laughs> Wrap everything up and make preparations to shut down at once. Ah, why is he always like that? This is quite the misfortune, but there's nothing we can do. That's it for today, everyone. Let's clean up. What? I did all that work for nothing. Paimon carried all that stuff for nothing. I'll go talk to them again tomorrow. The storms that come out of the blue are always the hardest to deal with. Sorry. I invited you thinking this was going to be a happy occasion. Yeah. I didn't know that things would turn out like this. There's no need to apologize, Nilu. No one could have seen this coming. Is what that guy said true? The Academia has already given you many warnings? Yeah, I guess you could say that. They've always seen us as being meaningless. Knowledge is king in Sumeru, and their pursuit of it leaves no room for the arts. Yeah, well, knowledge is useless without wisdom. But if that's all it is, there's also no reason to go so far as to demolish the theater. Yeah, they've been petty. After Anaya ran away from home, I brought her here to Zubair Theater. Ah, uh, he's salty about her finding a new family with the theater folk instead of at her house, but he lacks the wisdom to realize where he went wrong as a father. You know what I mean? She really talks about her family. All I know is that she didn't get along with them. I never expected it to blow up like this. If you did nothing wrong, then there's no reason to listen to the academia, right? Damn, Paimon. Imagine just not listening to the government and thinking you can get away with that. That's crazy. Who cares? Let's just take him in a fight. Go for it. I'm waiting. He can barely move a box. We won't always be here, you know. Ah, uh, that's true. I'll try to think of something. We can't just let everyone suffer in a perpetual state of fear and uncertainty. True. What to do? What to do? Can you pretend to shut down, but secretly continue to hold your shows somewhere else? <laughs> that sounds illegal. Or we could go through a list of customers and try to see if anyone in there might be willing to help out. Uh, that also doesn't sound like it'll work. Differences can be settled through a debate. Ooh, yo, academics are always trying to flex their big brain when it comes to like proving that they know what they're talking about. So if we can get them to do like this fucking crazy ass debate and then just flex on them and like prove them wrong, they'll not only A, look stupid, but then they'll also realize that like clearly there's no reason why they should be doing this. Easy clap. A debate? Well, scholars do love to use them to solve their problems, but how would that work in this case? We just need to prove that the theater's existence has a value. Oh, if we can prove to Inaya's father that the academia's position doesn't hold water, then they won't have a reason to demolish the theater. I see. Defeating him in a debate. It's a good idea, but which one of us could hope to win against a researcher? Oh. You. Huh? <laughs> Me? Yeah, who better? Hey, everyone wanted someone to be the, the center of attention for a story quest. Here you go. Nilu's about to pop off. No, 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 no. I'm the literal worst at arguments. I can't debate. I don't know, man. You're debating right now. <laughs> you debate to prove that you are right. Nilu, you are only so stressed out right now because you care so much about protecting the theater. I... Mm. This theater holds a special meaning in all of our hearts. It's irreplaceable, but I just don't know. Can I really take on such a huge responsibility? You'll be fine as long as you prepare. I'll do my best to help you. Thanks, you two. All right, I've decided. Let's go. Even though I may fail, I'll do my very best for everyone's sake. Hell yeah. That's our Nilu. We're rooting for you. Okay, let's head back and tell everyone what we came up with. 
Trying to best the academia in a debate is attempting the impossible. If you really want to try, I won't stop you. It's not like our situation can get any worse. I don't think it's entirely hopeless. To Sharif, Nilu's approach will come off as naive, but that kind of frankness is exactly what they lack the most. Hell yeah. Things might turn out differently from what you expect. I am in favor of such a romantic feat. No playwright will turn down a compelling underdog story. That is true. Sure, in fiction, but I'm not sure how well that will translate to reality. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't support you, Nilu. If you need my help, just say the word. Anything is better than just standing aside and watching the theater get demolished. I'm also pitching in. Let's show the Academia that we have some fight in us. Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot less nervous with your support. Hmm. Not to rain on your parade, but my father is a real hard guy to deal with. Damn. He's erudite, meticulous, demanding, and exceedingly familiar with rigorous logic. It'll be extremely difficult to beat him in a debate. You all already knew that, but you just didn't want to hurt Nilu's feelings. When all said and done, Aren't you hurting her just the same? Yo, come on. But, uh, have some trust in this girl. That's enough, Inaya. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <sighs> Sorry. I've ruined the mood. I just can't force myself to expect a positive outcome. Nilu shouldn't have to push herself for the sake of an impossible goal. Success comes from hard work. Yeah! It's way too early to give up! You're right, Inaya. We're up against the Academia. Everyone knows that they're very powerful. Mm hmm Being skeptical might actually be the more normal response. But I still want to try. I'm reluctant to just let Zubair Theater go. And it's not just me. I think everyone else here feels the same way. If we're unhappy, we should speak up and let our voices be heard. Say what's on your mind. And do what you think should be done. If we fail after that, then at least we won't have any regrets. I heard one quote earlier this year. They said... Failing just means that you tried. It's better to say that you failed than to say you never did anything. So I like this moment right here. I mean, after all, the only thing we can control right now is our choice at this very moment. I understand what you're trying to say. I also have my own intense feelings of anger and regret. Then, could I trouble you to tell your father about our plan for a debate? You can still get in touch with your family, right? Yes, I can. Then... Please help us pass on my request. I've never participated in a debate, and truth be told, I'm still not really confident in myself. But since we've decided on a debate, I'll do my best to prepare for it. I'll gather everyone's thoughts and let them be known to all during the debate. I, by myself, definitely don't have enough wisdom to beat your father, but what about the entire theater combined? Then we should have a chance, right? Right. That's right, Miss Nilu. Yeah, you tell him. Beat the bat guy. <laughs> Justice will prevail. All right, this girl's going a little too ham. <laughs> Make him eat dirt. Okay, kids, relax. <laughs> Rip his arms off and beat him with it. <laughs> you too. Sheesh. We are getting into a fight, but thank you for your encouraging words. I'll do my best. Well said back there, Nilu. I felt that I might have said a bit too much. Anyway, we better start preparing now. First, let's see what everyone thinks about the situation. All right, we got to prepare, chat. You know what that means? That means I have to take the debate club to max level. I'm going to ascend it. We're going to see what it's truly... Its final form is going to be covered in blood. Ooh, oh my god. Yo, that looks fucking clean. Yo, that ascended look looks actually goaded. I did not know it looked like this before. Dude, that looks like it's gonna hurt something fierce. I love how the passive on this weapon is called blunt conclusion. A persuasive tool sure to turn the tide of a heated argument in the wielder's favor. Guaranteed to add weight to one's words. <laughs> Useful in any argument, no matter what the opponent, no matter who the opponent, to convince them to listen to reason. In short, people listen to pearls of wisdom. Ultimately, production was forcibly reduced due to mass protest. The need of the many outweighed the needs of the one. Jesus Christ, what an actual goaded flavor text. All right, time to pull everyone's thoughts. Mr. Zubair. We're trying to put together a list of arguments that might be useful. 
Any ideas? <laughs> yes, I'm right and you're wrong. And then whatever they say, if it's not I agree with you, you just start beating the shit out of them. It won't be difficult to explain our position. They're in the wrong and they know it. Damn. I mean, he's not wrong. I have meticulously managed this theater's affairs for years, and I have abided by every procedure and obtained every permit. I did all of that to protect ourselves if something like this were to occur. I didn't expect them to disregard the rules altogether. Uh, yeah, it might have something to do with her because she ran away from home and came here. Yes, I know. But anyone who's staying at the theater is one of us. If I can't even protect the members of the theater from outside pressure, then I have failed in my duty as a manager. In summary, you need sufficient confidence and strict adherence to the rules. At least for now, they don't have the authority to demolish the theater. As long as you double down on that point and force them to concede it, you'll gain an advantage. All right, got it. <sighs> I've seen many situations like this before. The academia sure likes to get its nose into everyone's business. While you prepare for the debate, I will also prepare the theater for the potential aftermath. It's best to prepare for the worst outcome. Once you're done chatting, do me a favor and tell our customers that we're canceling all of our shows. Aww. Do we really have to? So sad. Right now, no one's in the right frame of mind to perform. I have to consider both our staff and our customers. Nilu, you are incredible. With your talent and youth, you had the least to lose out of all of us. And yet you were still the first to take a stand. I've never thought about leaving your theater, Mr. Zubair. I truly love this place. Hmm. And I want to keep dancing here. I also want to keep dancing with everyone else. You're becoming more and more like her. Her? <laughs> the goddess of the flowers, perhaps? Do your best. We'll do all that we can. Who's her? Leave the rest to fate. Come on! You can't just leave it off there. Who is that? Her? My teacher. She was an excellent dancer. Oh, my teacher. But she's retired now. I see. Okay. If we have time later, I'd be happy to tell you more about her. Ooh. <sighs> I've gained a whole new level of respect for you. Oh? Inaya was right. It's true that I couldn't bear to bring down Nilu. It wasn't out of pity or anything, though. I, I just felt like I didn't have the right to say anything. After all, Nilu was the one who bravely stepped up and proposed to fight back. I didn't have that kind of courage or initiative. I'd be a terrible person if I spoke badly of Nilu without doing anything to help. She knows better than any of us how difficult this path will be. Hello, sir. Paimon doesn't really want to talk to him. Well, Paimon, no one was asking you to talk to him. You barely do anything. So, you've already developed some prejudices against me. <laughs> and to think, I was just about to put forward a suggestion. Oh, Paimon will listen to that. <laughs> Although, I know not if you have a new answer to my previous question. Now seems like an appropriate time to revisit it. What do you think is the meaning of art? Oh, this again? <laughs> we probably do need to tackle this question if we want to prove the value of the arts. That is true because that's, you know, we have to prove that there's value in the theater. I don't know how to explain it, but all I know is that when my performance makes the audience happy, I also become very happy. Yeah, but the academia don't have emotions. They're like robots. So like, how do you quantify happiness? It's like, hey, what what, what does happiness do for our, for our country of wisdom? Does that count as a meaning? You answered him so seriously. Careful, Nilu. This guy's ramblings never make any sense. <laughs> no, no. Nilu's answer far surpasses what? yours, and it is close to my own. Oh, so he has the answer. The meaning of art comes not from its creators, mm -hmm. but from its audience. That is so true. Oh my god. As a content creator, that makes so much sense too. Ultimately, it's not up to you whether your content succeeds or fails. It's really up to your audience or people who choose to watch you. All you can do is do the best you think you can, but it's never up to you. In other words, only art that can be appreciated by others will impart its essence and value upon the minds of its audience. Hell yeah. This is something that the academia can never understand understand seem to have many stories of your own i once pursued the mastery of art oh much like how a researcher would chase wisdom and knowledge however the more of a connoisseur i became the less i felt i understood 
I began to question what it truly meant for art to be understood at all. <laughs> Jesus, you got to the heart of it. I found that I could comprehend even the most complex and sophisticated of works, and yet somehow that provided me with little solace. I remained even perplexed about this conundrum until I visited this theater and watched one of Nilu's performances. It was that life-changing? Everyone here had a joyous part in the overall experience. The actors upon the stage basked in the love of their audience, <laughs> while those in the house immersed themselves in the wondrous ambiance. <laughs> I love this man's performance. In all honesty, from a purely critical point of view, Hello the performances again. here are exceedingly average. Damn. Hey, you know what? The truth hurts, but it's it's the truth. Hey, don't say something like that. I knew someone was going to get hurt by that. But what bewildered me was how despite the performance's middling quality, they captivated their whole audience. They captivated even me. Yo, the hype got to him. He was like, yo, everyone's hyped. I'm hyped. I realized then that I had walked the wrong road. The mastery of art was never what I truly wanted. I left the so-called frontiers of artistic research and came to this theater. For this is where I can finally find what I seek. Art will no longer be a castle in the sky. Whether it be inspiring or entertaining, art must be appreciated by others to confer value. Yeah, we know a certain castle in the sky. If art cannot accomplish that, then it is meaningless. I see. When you put it that way... That is true. Mr. Zubair and I refused to follow the Academia's orders to change our shows for a similar reason. To put it simply, we were afraid that our shows would lose their meaning if people couldn't understand them. Exactly. You don't want to compromise what you're trying to do. I once stood in the spotlight, but I relinquished fame and acclaim for the freedom I enjoy today. I care not for where my feet may take me next. Hmm. But Nilu, you need to remember one thing. You already stand upon the finest stage there is, and that is a rare gift that should never be taken for granted. You cannot give it up, not even to the academia. I like this guy. I understand. Thank you for your words of encouragement, Mr. Kasani. Man's actually based. Dust the cobwebs away from the eyes of those scholars. <laughs> Very theatrical, for sure. He really seemed to care a lot about the theater. What a goat. Once you get to know him, you'll realize that he's actually a big softy at heart. Yeah, I didn't get to know him until He'll now. even help out with furniture repair and painting the stage. Hyman didn't think he had that in him at all. Although we can find a form of beauty in regret and disappointment, mm -hmm. it makes no sense to just accept this world's tragedies. Oh, the kids? No one is allowed to bully Miss Nilu. Oh, God. Damn, these kids are coming up with their own plan. They're like, we're going to bust into that joint. We're going to beat the shit out of all of them. Watch out, Mr. Bad Guy. Pow! Bam! <laughs> They're like, hey, I have a friend named Timmy. And his best friend has Gatling guns and Hellfire missiles. He'll definitely help us out. Like, goddamn, dude. This just came out of nowhere. What'll happen next? Beats me. Everyone else must also be at a loss. When the day comes, I'll get my friends and the theater's customers to come and support Nilu. If anything goes wrong, I'll have them scream and shout and drown out whatever Sharif says. I can't do that? <sighs> Fine, I'll think of something else. I didn't expect you all to challenge the academia. With the debate club, by the way. And that reminded me of my younger years. Back then, I feared nothing and no one, and I was always charging into the most dangerous of places. I can't do things like that anymore, but those were some of the best times of my life. Sorry. If the theater really ends up getting demolished, then you, Soreen, and Abby will all... It's all right. There's no need to think such heavy thoughts. Even if the building gets demolished, its people will still all be here. Have faith in the resilience of an adventurer. We can always figure something out. True. But will you have regrets if things just come to an abrupt end? It'd be like when you were forced to stop adventuring. Ah, oh, so that's what you were worrying about. <laughs> Relax. I've had a lot of experience with regret. Things are painful at first, but as they say, time heals all wounds. 
Look at us now. Serene and Abi are happy. And Serene has also just passed his theater exam. Nice. He can start acting soon. He was thrilled because he can soon perform on the same stage as you. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for our past struggles. True. And would Serene have become a happier person? That's hard to say. Are you trying to make us feel better? Yes, but I truly do mean what I say. Being here at the theater has taught me an important lesson. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. I can choose to believe that my life ended with my husband's death, or I can choose to believe that it was a blessing in disguise for Serene and Abi. <coughs> Well, I mean, isn't their dad still dead? Similarly, even if this theater disappears, a new beginning might just be around the corner. Good and bad are all human-made concepts. It all depends on how we choose to see things. You have a point. That is true. Nilu, I know how important Zubair Theater is to you. But you don't have to be so nervous. We're all here with you. The theater won't go down so easily. Thank you, Miss Raycar. <laughs> no need to thank me. If anything, you inspired me with your bravery. You might have what it takes to become an excellent adventurer. She has it in the bag. Y you're too kind. All right, I gotta cheer up. I can't waste everyone's words of encouragement. <sighs> I feel a lot better. Good. My children and I will be cheering you on at the debate. Club. Gotta add that last part in there. Her husband dying is a blessing. Yeah, I was like, ma'am, I don't know if that's, I, I get what she means, but I mean, there's more fallout that comes from that, for especially for the kids. What's going on over here? You're here. Is the theater actually closing? What exactly happened? He told us that we have to shut down the theater within 30 days and that it's going to be demolished. What the heck? That came with no warning. <sighs> They're messing with us again. Don't tell me you'll have to listen to him. Come on, you know the answer to that. Yeah, it is a direct order from the academia. That's why we got a bludgeon their heads in with this debate club I found. There's no need to worry though. I'm preparing for a public debate with the academia. If I win, we might be able to overturn things and change their minds. That's terrific. You have my full support. No doubt about that. Mine too. So what was their excuse anyway? They still not a fan of the theater's programs? Yeah. Something like that. Good thing they have the power to make rash decisions about things they don't even understand, huh? True. Yeah, they need to touch more grass, not books. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. They really were just like, yo, touch grass, nerd. Even though we're in the land of freaking Dendro. That's hilarious. Don't worry. Everyone here has your back. The academia's recklessness won't get them any praise. Right. They might think that some forms of knowledge are more valuable than others, but everyone can equally appreciate art. If they don't believe that, send them my way. I got them beat on this subject. Maybe you can prepare some questions on the details of dance performance to make things harder for them at the debate. Sounds like a good idea. Ignore him. He's joking. Just do things your way. <laughs> no matter what, we will always support you. Thank you all so much. Your understanding and support make me feel a lot better. There are always more solutions than problems. If you need help during the debate, just shout and the entire Grand Bazaar will be at your beck and call. <laughs> Gotta show them who has the people's support. I feel like the pieces are starting to fall into place. Let's head back to the theater and organize our thoughts. Abby, have you seen Miss Inaya? No, Miss Nilo. Miss Inaya isn't back yet. Wasn't she just passing on a message? Does she really need this much time? She could have started arguing with her father again. Uh, oh no. Traveler, Paimon, I think I've messed up big time. Uh-oh. What if Inaya never planned to come back? What? It's just a gut feeling, but knowing her, she probably feels like she's completely responsible for what happened. Yeah, I, I can see that. She probably thinks that all of this happened because she was staying here. Oh, right. As soon as her father showed up, she said that her father was targeting her. So she's felt like that this whole time. She has a long-standing conflict with her father. That's why she ran away from home. She doesn't think that we can win the debate. And she doesn't want to implicate us. So she thought leaving was the best thing to do. So even after we decided to go for the debate, she still couldn't bring herself to support it. And then she just quietly left afterward. No one should bear all the blame. 
Exactly. She's being too pessimistic. How will you know if you don't try? True. Anyway, first things first. We have to get her back. But where should we start? Sumeru is huge! Let's start by looking outside the city. Before I brought her to Zubair Theater, she was staying at a remote campsite. She got a fever from drinking unclean water, so I carried her back. If she has nowhere else to go after leaving the theater, she might go back and strike out on her own again. Then let's go take a look. Yes, let's hurry. Holy fuck, she's uh I thought it was gonna be like over here, like the outskirts. She's literally all the hell down here. God damn. Oh, is anybody home? There are signs that someone had stayed here very recently. But we can't confirm if it was Inaya or not. Let's take a look around first. Okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, I don't like the sound of that. Let's investigate. Back up, Stay damn back. it! It's Ooh, hold on. Trial Nilu, eh? Bro, they love Noblest Oblige, dude. They do have C3, though. This is actually better than my than my Nilu for the C3. This dance is for you. Okay. That actually kind of worked for her. Thank you. There weren't so many big animals in this area before. They chased after me for a long time. Sorry. I'm causing trouble for you again. Why did you leave by yourself? You really don't think we have a chance at winning the debate? Club. No. Everything happened because of me. If I'm gone, then the situation will resolve itself. But everyone else is trying so hard. Yeah! Everyone's working together towards a happier ending. No one should be singled out for blame. It's alright if it's me. As long as the theater won't get demolished. Aww. You guys are the kindest people I've ever met. You shouldn't suffer so much because of me. Ah, that's fine. Listen to me, Inaya. Even if you were the reason that all of this happened, no one would blame you. Mr. Zubair said that you're one of us, so that means we will protect you. Aw. No matter what happens, we'll stand as one. Nilu, there will always be a victim. Whether it's me or the theater. You can't eat your cake and have it too. You can't win a debate against the academia. Especially since your opponent will be my father. My father is an extremely demanding man. He's always wanted me to become an exceptional researcher and his academic successor. I tried my best to meet his expectations and did everything I could. But he still wasn't satisfied. Or rather, he had just never been satisfied with me. I'm no genius, but whenever he berated me, it was always as if he was asking me, mm. Why aren't you a genius? Yeah, like I'd know. So that's why you ran away from home? Yeah, I would too. I know how that feels though. At first, I thought the father would slowly come to terms with reality. But he just wouldn't stop berating me. And then they get mad when you leave. It's like, yeah, I had the choice to just not be berated by you anymore. Imagine that. Imagine I had that choice and then they get mad when they're like, but what did I do? What did I say? For one exam, I earned the third highest score. Ooh. I thought that all my hard work had finally paid off. And that I could finally make father feel some modicum of joy. I even used the embroidery skills I learned at school to make a commemorative gift for him. Yeah, no wonder she wasn't confident in how she was making it. Because it's just like she's had someone her whole life that's basically been like, you're nothing. And you're never going to be nothing. How do you expect someone like that to grow up with confidence? I thought even this daughter can make her father happy sometimes, right? When we were embroidering your gift before, I didn't feel like you were new at it. Yeah, sorry for not bringing it up. These are not pleasant memories for me. All I wanted was to see him smile at me. But he was more angry than ever before. Fuck that guy. Once I'd given him my embroidery and told him my score, he flung my present to the side. You think you should be proud of third place? Reflect on why you weren't first. I hate this so much, dude. I hate how this is reminding me of uh, certain things from my childhood. That I'm like, yeah, I've been there, done that, dude. I hated it. I forgot how long I'd cried for. I only remember my parents arguing. My mother also thought he went overboard. Damn, every Asian parent ever? Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I don't know that experience, but I, I wouldn't doubt it. They argued for such a long time. My father eventually stormed out and slammed the door behind him. I didn't get a single sentence of apology or any words of comfort. I've completely given up. 
We're destined to never understand each other. How horrible. Yeah. I don't think you can beat him in a debate. Club. Because he doesn't even understand what kind of place a theater is. Guys, the fact of the matter is we can't beat him in a debate, but we can beat him with the debate club. Keep that in mind. He can never understand the relationship performers have with their audience. He just wants everything to happen according to his wishes, as if the world revolves around him. What we cherish, our little place in this world, means nothing to him. It sounds like your past has had a huge impact on you. I understand now, Inaya. But when we were preparing for the debate, I heard something quite wise. Maybe it'll help you. Oh! Oh my god, they brought this back? Hold up! Oh my god, this is so cool! Art must first be appreciated by others to confer value. Okay. Mr. Zubair has been meticulously managing the theater. Everything checks out. Everyone is free to appreciate art. No form of art is inherently superior. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Miss Raycar has gone through a lot in her life, but she told us that she's very happy to live at the theater now. Although she ran into misfortune, it led her down a new path in life. She sees that as a blessing. She told me that the most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Interpret it? I can sympathize with your unhappiness at home, but after you ran away, you ended up at the theater and became one of us. Yeah, so you're running away from another home of people that actually care about you this time. Those unhappy experiences allowed you to really cherish your bonds with everyone and also gave you the opportunity to become friends with us. Don't let your past suffering keep you from the new life that you've worked so hard to find. Hmm. Gosh. Nilu's great. Oh. Very empathetic. Very sympathetic. Let the past stay in the past. True. You don't have to be so hard on yourself anymore. This is your new beginning. When I ran away from home, I swore that I would leave my family conflicts behind. It's easier said than done. I'll say that right now. Like, as an adult... It's crazy how often I look back on things in the past that will never change, but it sucks that I even have to think of those things because they happened. But even as an adult, I, I can't go back and change it, but it's so hard to just not acknowledge that because that's literally a part of what made me who I am today. So it's, it's way easier said than done to just be like, yeah, I'll just leave all my past in the past. What's the worst that could happen? But you're right. All I'm doing now is falling right back into it. Maybe you'll disappoint him, but that doesn't matter. You have a new future waiting for you. True. Don't let go of the answer you've worked so hard to find. You're right. There's nothing to be afraid of. There you go. I'm not trying to meet his expectations, so why should I give up because of him? Exactly. I can't afford to lose anything more. We have to win. The debate will not only protect Zubair Theater, but also allow me to settle things with father. That's the spirit! <laughs> Let's go. I'll tell my father about the debate. I know him very well. Even if he looks down on us, I know how to make him accept. All right. Let's go. Well, I'm off to meet with him. Please wait here for me. Looking forward to your good news. That should be everything. The only thing left to do now is to wait until the debate. But I still feel like it'll be an uphill battle. I need to be calmer, cooler, and more collected. Lots of people are rooting for you. Yeah, I'm acting as everyone's representative, so I'll need to act brave, even if I won't feel like it. Fake it till you make it, dude. There's still one problem left unsolved. What's left? The theater's existence. Is it only for art and performance? Huh? What a strange question. Wait, you're not asking what the theater does, but what it is. Yep. Let me think. How can I put this? Ooh, here we go. Yo, big brain time. Art must first be appreciated by others to confer value. Value of the theater's existence. Huh? Got it. When we were trying to find a way to save the theater, we heard many stories not of the theater, but of the people whose lives have been touched by it. Zubair Theater is our reason for coming together. It connects us all in unique ways. In other words, it's like a bond. A bond? The theater provides money for Miss Raycar and her children, inspiration for Mr. Kasani, and enjoyment for the people of the Great Bazaar. Yeah. It also gives Inaya shelter from her family. It has brought us together after taking care of every single one of us. And its story won't end here. 
In the future, many more people will come to the theater and receive its blessing, and we'll all be there for them. Nice. Our warm, welcoming community will show them the same kindness we were shown in the past. Aside from the delivery of performances, isn't this another reason for Zubair Theater's continued existence? Yo, add that to the list. Yeah, that makes sense. We definitely felt that warmth during the preparations for the event, but Paimon doesn't see how this will help in the debate. Inaya said that her father doesn't care about interpersonal relationships. This may be his weak point. Oh, gotcha! No matter how strong an opponent is, They'll have to go on the defensive if pressed on a weak point. That is true. I feel like that's another prong in our attack. Thank you so much. Good shit. Sorry for the wait. Oh. I'm back. How'd it go? Things went a lot more smoothly than I expected. It didn't take long for him to accept the debate. And it's set for two days from now. Why are you all smiling so much? <laughs> Did something good happen? Yep. We realized that your dad might not be as scary as we had thought. <laughs> we just finished our prep. Rest easy. It will all turn out well. We have to win. No, we will win, Inaya. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, let's do it. Hello and welcome, everyone. I am Safwan, a scholar from the Academia, and I will serve as this debate's adjudicator. I swear to judge both parties with the utmost wisdom and impartiality. You better. I will neither interfere with the proceedings nor demonstrate bias. I ask for both parties to stand. May the Dendro Archon also serve as a witness to this duel of wits. I don't know about that. I think she's pretty uh, preoccupied at the moment, but anyways. Since you so desperately demand an explanation, I will expound on the Academia's stance. You may have misunderstood us from the outset and believe that the Academia is prejudiced against you. Because they are. However, the truth is that the Academia wishes for every resident of Sumeru to be afforded opportunities to grow and cultivate their wisdom. AKA, you could be doing so much better with yourself. And uh, this is basically the lowest common denominator that y'all are putting yourselves through. Therefore, the works they consume should also possess enlightening qualities and intellectual value. We have failed to identify these qualities in the shows performed at Zubair Theater. Because you're three-head. In other words, instead of struggling against the academia in pointless confrontations, if you had spent your time reflecting on improving the quality of your shows and enlightening your audience, Damn. Zubair Theater would not be today facing such a tragic fate. It's so incredibly baffling how stupid these sages are. Like, the academia in general, they're so close-minded and, like, I'm like, bro, how are you guys even in business? How are y'all, like, in power? Calm down, Nilu. Oh! First, carefully analyze what he said. Big brain time! He said that we were shut down not because the academia looks down on the arts, but rather because our shows aren't up to their standards. However... However, your standards are literally unrealistic. All right, let's see. I think it's the Grand Bazaar crowd's opinion. Everyone is free to appreciate art. No form of art is inherently superior. Is it this one? In your eyes, our shows can't meet the academia's expectations. Exactly. Y'all are just fucking on a pedestal. Shouldn't it be the audience who decides if a show is intellectual or Exactly. Money? Why is someone from the academia judging that? Also, I believe that there is no such thing as a wiser or more enlightening performance. You're out of your depth, old man. Art doesn't discriminate, and it appeals to all. Everyone has the right to appreciate art. Exactly. Appreciation is but a primitive form of satisfaction. Guidance and enlightenment are necessary if we are to induce growth in the performers as well as the audience. But like, you're basically saying that it's up to us to decide what you can or can't appreciate. This stance holds performers to a higher standard and encourages the development of the arts. If all performances are simple-minded, require little effort to comprehend, and lack any impetus for the betterment of society, Okay. Then the people will not be able to develop a greater level of artistic understanding. My guy, it's literally entertainment and expression. Nurturing the populace's understanding requires a long and arduous process. <laughs> and guiding this process is the academia's true goal. All right, let me grab my this debate club real quick. I'm just gonna smack him upside the head with it. He changed the topic without patting an eye. Good thing I'm prepared. If I remember correctly, 
What I should say here is... Art must first be appreciated by others to confer value. Yeah, I think it's this one. Like, right out the gate. Someone at our theater has tried that before. He was a famed artist, but he recognized that very few people could connect with his works. I didn't like him at first, but I actually... He's goaded. I agree that art should be enlightening, but we can't pursue that goal by creating complicated works. If a work can't tap into an audience's personal experiences or feelings, then its contents may as well be a castle in the sky. Talk to him! What's the point of performing a show that its audience can't even follow? Exactly. That would only be forcing people to watch something they don't like. I really want to know what he has to say about it. Actually, this is pretty entertaining. You can only reach that conclusion from a place of ignorance. Uh, guess what? It takes one to know one, dude. In that case, before passing judgment, you should first become a better dancer than me. Yo! <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to criticize dancing? Fucking live a day in my shoes. You tell them, Nilu. Yo, get his ass. Looks like he's backed himself into a corner. As the party holding the burden of proof, Sharif has failed to provide sufficient support for his judgment of the quality of <sighs> Zubair Theater's programs. Yo, get wrecked, my dude! Likewise, the definition that Nilu put forth is but her personal opinion. Uh-oh. Neither party is the victor for this particular point of contention. Oh, uh, okay. Additionally, I must request that both parties exercise greater control <laughs> on their emotions. Okay. In that case, I shall speak of more concrete matters. The essence of this issue is that you have violated the law so you must now pay the price for your transgression no i don't think that's how it works sir this course of action is also completely procedurally sound we have already contacted zubair theater multiple times regarding the theater's repertoire however you have consciously ignored our warnings no or perhaps your compliance was purely superficial regardless that failure has indirectly led to the present day's proceedings that is indeed so according to the laws decreed by the academia. He started talking about procedural stuff, so I need to focus on... Mr. Zubair? Mr. Zubair has been meticulously managing the theater. Everything checks out. Mr. Zubair has already provided signed copies of all documentation related to our operations. Everything is perfectly filled out and valid. Although the theater's performances don't align with the academia's requests, the law doesn't say that Zubair Theater can be demolished only because of that reason. Yeah, see, like, if you want to fine us, then fine us, but you don't have to destroy the fucking theater. Demolition notices need to be provided in writing and made available to the public. Mm. Otherwise, the theater can continue to operate as long as its license is valid. Failing to follow these rules makes your stance procedurally unsound. Yo, Neil. Nilu's actually like, what the fuck? Nilu's actually a great debater. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There are different ways to apply the rules. There is precedent for this. So long as this matter is discussed within the academia, this course of action will come to pass. Uh huh. Looking at the past 27 cases of similar nature, 90% of them support Sharif's claim and position. Hey, that's not 100%. However, the demolition process in those cases was only started after discussion at the academia. In other words, premature notice of demolition is indeed a rash act. Thank you. That's more than enough. We've proven that the order is unreasonable as it currently stands. <laughs> Cease your futile resistance. <laughs> the fuck? Nilu's definitely won this point, right? He's just like, hey, stop doing that. Stop stop fighting me with facts and logic. I can't handle it right now. She still can't let her guard down. You're right. Stay focused, Nilu. Even if permission for demolition has yet to be obtained, it is a fact that your performances violated the academia's policies on numerous occasions. Based on that fact, we can permanently revoke your right to perform in Sumeru. Uh, 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 uh. That was like an anime, like, nani moment. <laughs> It even had, like, the fucking sound effect, too. <laughs> Under the current system, it is indeed possible to immediately revoke Zubair Theater's performing rights. Uh-oh. That's a thing? Ah, uh, Nani! I figured. That's his backup plan. Rather than protecting Zubair Theater, I surmise that your true intention is to maintain your hold over your audience and their patronage as your source of income. Without them... Zubair Theater is nothing more than an empty building. And without its performances, the theater has nothing else of value. Oh, we're gonna hit him with his daughter's value. What you said isn't true at all. <sighs> Keep it cool, Nilu. Come on, don't get riled up. He's intentionally provoking you. Come on. Right. 
I need to keep calm. Okay. But he... Yeah, he's being a real McAsshole. Super Theater isn't just a performance venue to us. It's our bond. Yo, hit him with that interpersonal connection that he would know nothing about. We're about to cook this man right now. The theater carries everyone's feelings and serves as the bond that connects us all. Hell yeah, dude. Hit him with it. Zubair Theater isn't simply a performance venue to us. It means more than that. <laughs> it's been our home for a long time. Yo, knock him a power. Miss Raycar can't go on adventures anymore, but she has found a stable career and a new life at the theater. Her son, Soarin, has already passed his theater exam. Let's go. And he'll soon be our newest member. Mr. Kasani found a new way to look at art. He decided to stay at the theater to watch us grow. Yo, Mr. Chad Sani over here. Mr. Farhad and Mr. Hushong visit even when there isn't a show <laughs> going on. And they always tell us lots of entertaining stories. Touch grass, you old bitch! Even Inaya wants to stay with us. And she's starting to look forward to a new future. Zubair Theater exists for them. For every single one of us. Yo, the squad pulling up. Let's go. Perhaps Zubair Theater has provided you with a multitude of positive emotions and experiences. Damn. However, you have misconstrued something, young miss. The interpersonal relationships you speak of were established upon normal theater operations. Sheikh Zubair operates the theater for his livelihood. His employees work for their wages, and the audience comes to enjoy performances. Relationships are merely a byproduct in this exchange of interests. They may be pleasant and captivating, but they can only ever be secondary. Not really, because everyone just gives Nilu free shit and they don't even have to do that. When scholars collaborate to solve difficult problems, we freely share our knowledge and resources with one another as if we were all kin. However, this collaboration ends after the results of our work are published. The reason is simple. We are scholars, and there are new projects that await our attention. He really doesn't think much of relationships. Yeah. Paimon also thinks he did a lot of prep. He's been solid as a rock. Sharif's argument is currently the more persuasive of the two for this point of contention. Them. The continuance of the interpersonal relationships Nilu spoke of remains hypothetical before the theater's demolition, whereas the situation that Sharif described has been well documented at the Academia. Ah, uh, the Academia. I'm about to burn this bitch to the ground. The Academia has made significant academic contributions, in no small part due to its researchers' efficiency and ability to compartmentalize. Oh no, what should we do? Things are going in the opposite direction. Nilu might be setting him up. Yo, setting him up for a drive-by. <laughs> a setup? Let's get him. So Nilu's got him? Yep. Good. He said what he said. The next argument could decide this debate. Yo, whip out the debate club when the guy's not looking. But is this really the best thing to do? It might be too cruel to Inaya. Inaya's will. Inaya really wants to win. She doesn't want to lose anything else because of her painful past. Yeah, it's like, yeah, well, guess what? You're a shitty dad and you would never understand interpersonal connections if it slapped you in the face. She already agreed to this. She wants to win, no matter what. Me too. Let's get it. Mr. Sharif believes that interpersonal relationships are a byproduct of working towards a goal. Mm. Once that goal is achieved or abandoned, those relationships would have no more reason to continue. Damn, you just cast your daughter aside when she was no longer a byproduct for your goal. Then, if someone has failed to live up to his expectations... Damn, she fucking got his ass. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be great to watch. If someone has failed to live up to your expectations and ran away from home, then she shouldn't be your daughter anymore. Right? Damn. Yo, look at Nilu. Nilu's like, oh shit, I, 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 I wasn't expecting this. Inaya. Sorry, Nilu. As expected, I should be the one to say it. Yeah. You don't need to shoulder this responsibility for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh if in your eyes, the purpose of my existence is to become your academic successor, then that goal has ended in complete failure. Damn, that means you're a failure, sir. By your logic? That means there is no more reason to sustain our relationship as father and daughter. That is true. Members of the audience who do not belong to either debate party, please speak with caution. Let her speak. Yeah. What she does not say, Nilu will. <laughs> no matter how many disagreements we've had, the truth is that you are still my father. 
You're so immersed in your own world, you can't understand why we come together for the sake of relationships. Yeah, don't look down on us. <laughs> you can watch a dance anywhere, but there's only one Zoo Bear Theater. True. I'm almost starting to feel sorry for this guy, what with the <laughs> idiotic things he said. <laughs> Sir, this is your theater. I wouldn't be saying that to the guy that could literally have all of this taken away. Order, order. Members of the audience, do not interrupt debate proceedings. I confess that this is the final argument we had prepared. Disown me, and you will win the debate. But before that, Father, I have some final words to say. Uh-oh. I've been doing some soul-searching. Not about whether I should have run away from home, but whether there was any point to my personal rebellion against you. I kept trying to earn your approval. But I only disappointed you over and over. The truth is, I ran away from home as a means to vent my recurring frustrations. That is to say, I was exerting pressure on you and hoping you'd give up on your lofty expectations. But now you can live that life. I'm going to leave and do my thing. But by doing that, wasn't I just doing the same thing as you? Actually, in a way, when you think about it, kind of. Uh... <laughs> I won't force my expectations upon you anymore. At Zoo Bear Theater, I have found the life I've always wanted. I do like that because, like, he was forcing his expectations of her being a genius, and she was forcing her expectations on him just being accepting of who she was. It, it really comes down to, like, meeting somewhere in the middle. I will move on from my family troubles and strive towards my new goal. But if you dare to harm this place, then I will stand with my friends here. And fight against you. <laughs> Wait, Inayo, what are you doing with that debate club? <laughs> this is not the time to space out, Sharif. The debate is still underway. You already consider them to be your friends. Yeah, we just met. You should be asking us that question. Uh, uh, Mr. Zubair, you're, you're on thin fucking ice right now. You better relax. Of course <laughs> we are. Miss Inaya is a really good friend. It was a bit of a process. But we won her over. Make no mistake. All those who come to Zubair Theater become one of us. We will always be with her. Yeah, we're her new family. Such puerile simplicity. However... Hmm... What's going on? It is surprisingly a relief. Oh! Oh! Wait, what are you... What the hell? Ah, uh, never mind. Oh shit, did he just like drop the freaking charges? What's going on? They left? What the hell? Does that mean we've won? We won? Yo, chat, we won! Neil, you're amazing! Let's fucking go! <sighs> I relaxed for a moment and I feel a little faint. Her father was like, I am head out. <laughs> It looks like he still has a place for her in his heart. Yeah, man just was like, people leave. Uh, your, my daughter's in good hands. Terrific work, Nilo and Anaya. They likely won't cause any more trouble for us. Yo, Mr. Zubair was popping off. This man was about to lose his theater, but that didn't stop him. Didn't know you could get so fierce. I have a lot of newfound respect for you two. I really liked the debate portion. Dude, I really... Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this right now. I really fucking hope there's like a massive court case in Fontaine and we go through like a trial in court like this. I actually really want that to happen now. I, I really, really enjoyed this debate system of like answering and deducing questions. Have us in the court with the freaking Hydro Archon, Yanfei, Hazel, Oh, Kuki Shinobu as our fucking legal team. We're getting framed for murdering somebody or some shit like that. I really want them to bring this back. Uh, this really took a lot out of me, though. <sighs> I don't ever want to do this again. God, that's going to be so sick if they do that. Both Miss Nilu and Miss Inaya were so cool. I know that they originally used the system in the Archon Quest, but the Archon Quest was still... Like, I was so mind-fucked in the Archon Quest that I wasn't as, like, clear about the information that I was gathering and which was the correct answer, but I got six out of six for this one, so it was great that I was paying attention to what was said and I was answering accurately. It just felt really rewarding for me the further it went on. And, like, the arguments they were making 
were really interesting, too. Should we throw a second round of celebrations? Let's go! More free shit! <laughs> the curtain finally falls on the debate. Hey, we didn't have to get our debate club all bloodied up. You love to see it. Oh, oh, Paimon. Paimon's chilling in the open world. Oh, you know what? Hold on. This is like one of the rarest times where you can take a picture with Paimon outside of the teapot. Oh my god, that's a perfect shot. Holy fuck. Oh, it's you. Feeling any better? Yes, I feel a lot better. The more I think back on everything, the more surreal it all feels. I don't think I could repeat what I did a second time. All of our preparations paid off. Yes, and it's all thanks to you. Now that I've heard everyone else's stories, I want to hear yours. <laughs> I see. You mean how fate brought me to the theater, right? Ooh. Then I'll have to tell you about my teacher who Mr. Zubair had mentioned. Oh yeah, true. Mr. Zubair opened his theater when I was still a child. There was a beautiful dancer. And from the moment I saw her, I couldn't look away. <laughs> Gage, anybody? I thought to myself, the gods must have blessed her with such talent. But later on, she would actually smile down at me and say just the opposite, in fact. The opposite? Yeah. She said, dance is an art born from toil. It isn't a gift from the gods, True. but a creation by our own hands. Damn straight. It is a beautiful thing born from our life experiences. Whenever there is joy or something <laughs> to be celebrated, people will dance. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. The girl on the side of us over here is dancing as we speak. <laughs> I was like, actually, you, you don't say. You don't say. This lady's literally just busting a move on the side of us right there. That's so funny. In other words, any place where people can effortlessly begin a dance will for sure be filled with the blessings of everyone's happiness. I like she that. wasn't looking for flowers and applause. All she wanted was to see her audience smile. So that is what art means to people? Right, the same as what Mr. Kasani believes. Hell yeah, Mr. Chad Sani. I was completely moved by what she had said, so I started taking dance lessons from her. And later on, I began to dance here in her stead. Before she retired, she told me, for as long as you live, Never forget what dance means to others. Hmm. This is why Mr. Zubair and I never intended to listen to the academia. I really hope that there are some theater kids out there or theater students or theater people that play Genshin because I feel like this would be such a rewarding quest for them. I don't know the first thing about theater. My girlfriend actually is in a musical theater cl class, so I think she would really appreciate Nilu's story quest more than anything because it relates to the fact that she loves dance. She loves musical theater. She loves musicals. And um, I feel like all of that stuff kind of speaks to those type of people. Even though it ended up causing everyone a whole lot of trouble, thankfully, everything worked out in the end. Looks like you don't have to worry anymore. Mm -hmm. Although I do have a small regret. Uh, Inaya? Yeah. Even though she has already decided to stop fighting with her father, they never managed to have a real conversation with each other. Sometimes words... Like, your actions are kind of better spoken than your words. Before he left, Mr. Sharif looked like he had a lot on his mind. He probably has a lot of things he wants to say. Doesn't know how to say it. Will now perhaps never get a chance to. That might be for the best. Yeah, but I still hope that things can change. It never hurts to have hope. Hmm. Gosh, she's so fucking beautiful, man. You and Paimon are more than welcome to keep attending our shows. <laughs> Who knows? Next time... You might see Inaya on the stage. Oh, shoot. Are you so worried about Inaya? Let's be sure to come back often. Who knows? Maybe things will have worked out for her. Wait for the debate two days from now? Wait, there's another debate? Ooh. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Cutscene ending? Yo, let's go. We get to see Nilu. Mm, look at her. She is literally everything. Look at that. Look at her. Perfect. Flawless. Queen. Fierce. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to our newest member. Let's go! Hinaya! Uh, hello, everyone. She'll be dancing for us from now on. Aww. So please, give her your support. She's become the teacher now. Hinaya's taken her place on the stage! Oh, Paimon wonders how she'll look when she starts dancing. Hmm. Hmm. When you stop and think about it, happy endings like this sure aren't easy to come by. A lot of things came together to make it happen. Nilu's efforts, everyone's wisdom, Inaya's determination. And Sharif's mercy. Huh? What do you mean by that? 
Yo, man, he definitely folded. Yeah, I think he intentionally gave us a chance. You do have a point there. The whole demolition thing was going overboard, but he really could have banned Nilu and the others from dancing. If he really wanted to be ruthless, he could have done some real damage, even without winning the debate. Yeah, now we just have to deal with the Grand Sage now. Oh, well. It's not like we can understand how people like him think. Let's focus on watching the performance. Agreed. Huh? Wait, look who the cat dragged in. Oh, dear. Welcome back, sir. Oh man, is he gonna, is he gonna, he's like, actually, you know what? I've never really, uh, never checked out this whole art thing you guys got going on. Let, let's see if I can learn a thing or two. Isn't that Yanaya's father? Let's go greet him. Oh, it's you two. <laughs> nice to meet you too, sir. I don't have much to do today, so I just came to look around this place. Are you looking for Inaya? No, I am simply here to watch a performance. Mm. There is no need to trouble her. Shouldn't you be busy? Well, I was for a time. My loss at the debate caused quite the loss of face for the academia, oh. so there was a period of unrest. I was about to say, is he going to get fired because he didn't do his job? I used this opportunity to suggest that my superiors temporarily suspend me from duty. Damn. Otherwise, the rumors would probably persist for even longer. Yo, this man took the fall. This man literally just had a change of heart. <laughs> Suspended from duty? I'm unemployed. Yes, I am temporarily unemployed. Yep. <laughs> However, I now have an abundance of time so I can afford to come here and watch a show. Yeah. I admit that I do not understand the magic that this theater possesses, but my curiosity has been piqued. Yo, that character development is so good, dude. I still cannot forget that young lady's perseverance. Inaya would almost certainly mature in the presence of such a person. So you're still concerned for about your daughter? There are no parents who do not worry about their children. I suppose she managed to hit a weak spot of mine. That's so true, though. When Fischl's, uh Golden Apple questline came out, I remember I uploaded a video, and a lot of comments even re reflected the idea that parents being immediately disapproving of their kid's passion doesn't come from a place of not wanting to support them. It comes from a place of fear of the uncertainty that that will be something that can sustain them independently. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's more so like, it does come from a place of ignorance. Like, for example, I remember growing up, my mom in particular just didn't understand video games she thought they were a waste of time but now gaming has evolved to become something that i can do for a living but at the time it's understandable for ha for her to have that mindset because in her mind it's like oh my god my kid is just gonna grow up and just be unproductive and just waste his life playing video games and i'm gonna have to worry about him until i die you know what i mean i don't know what that's like i'm not a parent but i can understand that that's probably what every parent goes through when it comes to raising their kids never mind I do not have the right to say that. You're already here, so you might as well go see her. No, that is not necessary. I will take my leave after the show concludes. Hmm. Do not tell her that I was here. <laughs> oh, well, Nilu just saw you, my dude. Come on. When else if you'll get a chance like this again? Oh, oh my god! Huh? You said you were going to make peace with your parents. This is so wholesome! You <laughs> Don't be nervous. Everyone at Zubir Theater has your back. <sighs> this is so good! Aww. Hey, huh? let's go somewhere else. We should give them some space. You sure they'll be okay? I don't know. But... I think we should have faith in them. Nilu's so wholesome. Nilu's too good for this world. Um. Ah, yes, Inaya. I have something for you. I'm still learning. It's hardly a masterpiece. Oh, he's yours, made it! If you'll take it. Huh? This guy. Um. You don't have to take it. It's fine. Uh, uh. Never mind. Uh, oh. Uh, this is this is this is Let's have a heart to heart. Father. Uh, Bruh. Like father, like that's daughter. so good. They're both so awkward with their feelings. <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like 
that's so relatable too like if you're constantly butting heads with like your especially your parents it's easier the older you get i would say but even then it's still kind of like well it's not as easy as if like if they just talked about everything growing up god i love this 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 turnaround was i was not expecting this is actually a really pleasant turn of events she probably would have snuck away as well if i didn't drag her back good job nilu do you think they'll be able to reconcile I'm not sure. Maybe. A complete reconciliation may also not be the best thing for them right now. All those years of arguments and misunderstandings yep. can't be settled overnight. That's what I was, exactly. It might be best if they continue to keep some distance for now. Yeah. But no matter where their hearts and bodies may be, they will always be family. Yo, this quest literally just got so good towards the debate. All I wish for them is to be able to one day tap into the warmth of that bond. Oh, by the way... Everyone's really thankful to you for helping out with the debate. Yeah, I know. I didn't even need to kill anybody. So, we made you a little something. Hope you'll like it. Wait, am I getting a quest item? Oh, a furnishing! Oh my god, what the fuck? They just made me a whole... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Is that like a whole ass, like, fucking theater stage? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> They just made me a whole ass thing. Probably thousands of dollars of manpower. Is this a furnishing or is it a miniature version? Isn't this Zubair Theater? Whoa. This is amazing. Oh, okay. It's a little so model. Detailed and polished. <laughs> We've also never made anything this complicated before. Sheesh. Mr. Zubair and Mr. Kasani took charge of the design, while Inaya and I made all the little pieces with the help of others. Aww. Miss Raycar and Miss Nadia made and assembled the centerpiece. Nice. As adventurers, you two will doubtlessly travel to many more lands and see many more things. Oh, yes. That's why we hope that your time at Zubair Theater will become a fond memory of your journey. Mm. You two are welcome back anytime. God, this was so great. I actually have a lot more appreciation for this place. And it kind of sucks because out of all of Sumeru, you kind of have to go out of your way to come here. Like it's literally tucked away in like the underbelly of the city. It's not like where Catherine is or where the teleport waypoints are or the academia up at the top. I pretty much dismissed this entire place after the second Archon quest because there's really not much here. But I, I really like I really appreciate and value this spot now. Welcome back and watch you dance whenever we get the chance. Thank you for being so considerate according to customs i should drop the formalities and just <laughs> thank you all for being so considerate you're welcome and there's no need to be so polite you learned fast come on take it this is the story of you and me it's a tale that i'll never ever forget mm, god nilu you are literally perfect i loved this quest holy moly to the wise what a great what a great story quest. And we got a miniature Zubair Theater figurine. It's like a miniature replica furnishing for the teapot. Yeah, handmade item created by members of the Zubair Theater. It is as true to life as possible. That's so cool. What a great quest. What an awesome quest line. So good. I really, 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 really hope that they utilize the decision making and the thought process system when we go to Fontaine. Like, especially if that's like the region of the courtroom. I really, really hope that they do something like that like on some dang and rampa type shit i think that has a lot of potential especially as like something to do with like an archon quest that everyone will be able to experience but yeah i'm not gonna lie this quest line had a very slow startup and i was a little unsure of how it was gonna fare go the further we went i think it really started turning around for me during the debate like i think the debate was the turning point where it became like really uh entertaining just like the back and forth it just felt like a very believable situation that was unfolding and i liked having a little bit of input with all the decision making and uh, was not expecting the turnaround with the father's character development and both of them kind of attempting to reconcile things because it sucked that like at the very end he kind of folded the debate because it clearly showed that something they said got to him as a parent and then they followed through like that cut scene at the end with Nilu was just like the icing on the cake that I so I really really appreciated it but overall this was great this was incredible that's the wrap-up of Nilu's story quest I hope you guys enjoyed it the next thing we're going to be getting into I will be streaming tomorrow we are going to officially be pulling for Nahida who drops technically tonight 
but I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to be pulling for her on stream. I'm going to be building her. And then we're going to start the Golden Slumber World Quest, which apparently it's a pretty lengthy world quest that takes place in the desert. I heard that it's going to take a couple of streams to go through. And that's pretty much the last major form of content that I'm going to get into for 3.1. So again, tomorrow, collected miscellany, Nahida pulling, Golden Slumber Quest starting. So I hope you guys look forward to that and uh, I'll see you guys then.